$2,500 reward from PETA being offered for information on who shot a cat in the head with the crossbow. That cat, known as Baby, is continuing to recover at MSU's veterinary clinic. Hannah Saunders spoke with the cat's owner, who won't be satisfied until police catch the person who did it. Bob Nyson went to let five-year-old baby in his Jackson house Sunday morning when he noticed an arrow piercing the top of his head. And he was just acting normal. Acting normal, rubbing on the leg, pet, wanted petted. It sickens him, knowing someone in the neighborhood is responsible. Heartbroken, you know. Just cannot believe somebody would do that. It's been a tough week of lots of medication and stitches, but baby is recovering well at MSU's vet clinic. He was probably millimeters away from having a lot more damage done. After just a few more treatments, baby will return home, expected to live a full, normal life. Actually shaved off a, a portion of the skull, uh, but we don't believe that there was any damage to the brain. Although because baby was treated so quick, police didn't have a chance to check the arrow for fingerprints and tell me they have no leads. But I'd like to see him caught and taken care of. And if that happens, he wants to be reimbursed for his $3,000 vet bill and press all the charges he can to keep this from happening to anyone else. Because I'd hate for some little kid to come home and find his favorite pet with an arrow in it or, you know, to run through that kind of shock and trauma. He would breathe a little easier if he knew the person who hurt baby is far away in prison serving time for animal cruelty. In Jackson, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. If you have any tips or someone using a crossbow near the Patty Avenue Wildwood intersection, if you saw them, call the Blackman Leone Public Safety Department.